Hello friends of the Nova Entertainment and welcome to another episode of Derail Valley. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing what you guys asked for and that is play more Derail Valley. Um, we are here in uh, the food factory town trying to set up a new consist. Um, as you can see here, the consist is... Um, a total of four wagons, which doesn't really sound much, but food and factory town. I don't know if everything changed or if I'm just not used to it anymore, but my goodness, I have a hard time sometimes orientating myself on these maps anymore. Um, keep in mind, <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so maybe that might be the reason for it. Now, as you can see, I am using mouse and keyboard. I'm not in VR. While I do have a VR set, um... I just, I don't know, I, I, I preferred, um, overall I preferred just with, um, yeah, just with the, uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, so we got our first two wagons coupled to this consist or to the locomotive. And, uh, so step one and step two are, oh, sorry, this is all step one still. So this was the first one on uh, track Charlie 1 Sierra. Uh, Charlie 9 Sierra was the second stop that we made. And then... Uh, actually, did we make that stop already or not? I can't remember. I have to quickly check my wagons. Oh, my car. Uh, let me just check here. So CBK, Charlie Bravo Kilo, 349er. And then this should be... Seven, three, four, seven, three, five. So there's that. All right. Oh, it means we can just get on our locomotive and uh, go for the next step, which is Delta Three Sierra. And I cannot find Delta Three Sierra. Now it should be fairly easy because, as you can see, it's like all the way on the outer part of the map. Depending which way we come in. But it is not as easy. Like. But if we come in this way, then assuming. Assuming we are coming from the southwest, which my compass doesn't really suggest that at all. More like northwest, which doesn't make like southwest would be like this. See, because this way we point north. East, South, it would be Southwest. And if I look at our station map, these are the Southwest or Northeast. Well, neither really. But I guess track is more going like northeast. I don't know. <sighs> so if that's the case, okay, let's 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 do this. Let's do this the scientific way. So if we go this track here, then this should take us all the way around. Okay, so we are coming in from south east, uh, uh, southwest, because there is the locomotive, and there is the um, the roundhouse. So 
that being said, then. I'm gonna go this way. All the way around. I think we got it here. Alright, here we go. So that being said, we're gonna go all the way around, go past the first, well we already passed the first switch, then we go past the second switch, past the third switch, and then we are going on to the delta. And then the deltas, um, it's gonna be past the first switch, past the se uh, down the second switch. Ah, huh? Nope, 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 nope. I did not pay attention. See, this is the... Yeah, we should be on this here. All the way out. All the way out. So many different yards now that you can go to, too. Loading yard. Three delta. You know, it might not be the most realistic games in terms of a lot of things. Signals and so on and so forth. But when it comes to... Well, it comes to really inter the, the, the interactivity of the game. And also, when it comes to the physics, there are not many games that can rival that can rival the Rail Valley. Like I said, we're gonna be going past this one, going past that one, that's already right. And now we're coming up here. That's the first one. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 Oh it's gonna be hard. That was not the way I wanted to do this, but CBK Charlie Bravo Kilo. Let's look at our manifest. Charlie Bravo Q 799. That's almost what I expect. 
So then, how are we gonna do this? I noticed that it used to be that you know you just hook them up, you come up, and there's no problems. Well, with those first wagons, they were they were in the middle between two other consists with the first two cards, and. Then I had to turn them around. And I was like, oh, maybe I just approached from the wrong side. But then I looked, and from the other side, there were like a ton of other cars in the way too. So, no, it was not me being just silly coming in from the wrong side. There was actually method to that madness. Also, yay for bugs. Tiny little Volkswagen Beagles. I love it. Did I just say Beagle? I meant Beetle. Oh, you know why this is sounding the way it sounds? Okay, let me let me think here for just a second. So what we could do is we could run that one on one or on two Delta India. Put it on two Delta India, unhook from it, do a run around, and hook it up to the end of the consist, and then pull it into. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, there is another thing that was just added to the game that you might or might not be aware of, and that is. Um, and that is that livestock is now a part of the game too. Oh, you know why it's squealing so badly? Because I forgot to undo the handbrake. Or parking brake, as it were. So we're going to be putting this card now onto Delta to India. And then we're going to do a run around. Oh, sorry. It's, yeah, got the one in here. And then we're gonna do a run around and come in and hook it up to the consist, to the back of the consist, and then we uh, can there we go. That's good right there. And turn parking brake on. What was that here? You're wondering what that is for. A quick release for the air. Uh. What are we doing on the roof? Okay, now we're pushing out here past that last switch.
No, that is just funny. I'm dragging the poor cart with me. <laughs> Thankfully, I noticed that quick enough. This would be so cool to have in multiplayer, though, because just because of the amount of stuff that you have to do, especially when you set up your um, when you set up your consoles. Okay, now I'm gonna stop here. With a loaded train, I wouldn't do that. With the empty train, I think we can get away with it. Now there's nice weather too. When I started this uh, run in the morning, in early morning hours, it was not so nice. It was raining like crazy. Then the it's interesting because your cab will totally fog up. All right. Now, let us quickly set the, set the switches as needed. Yeah, I think I went a little bit too far. So we're gonna go down here, which is correct. And down here. Wait a second. Wait. Am I missing something? Oh, okay. Okay, that's correct. I'm gonna go down here. Choo 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 Then we're gonna go here. Straight here. There we go. Alright.
Alrighty. So here we have our consoles now together. There we go. Now we just have to go and load it. And then bring it to the... Oh yeah, I was silly. And then bring it to the... Final stop. We get that. D1... Delta 1 Lima is this track, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. 1 Lima. Alright. Fairly easy. Oh, come on. I was hoping we're going to clear this, but apparently not. Apparently not. That's probably one of the first things that I'm gonna buy myself again uh, is the remote control. Because especially in the earlier moments of gameplay where you where you are tasked with a lot of um, shunting, the importance of the remote cannot be overstated. There we go. See, if I had my remote, I would just jump on the last wagon. Just like you would do it do in a prototype, <laughs> like you would do it in a prototypical um, setting.
What in the world? I thought I changed that. It's silly. All right, so we are on one Lima. quick you'd wish it was that quick in real life I totally thought for a second we are moving but it's the crane moving do you ever have that feeling like you stand at a red light and you look to the side vehicle And they are getting a green light, and now they are moving, and you hit the brake like a madman because you think you are moving. I had that many times. Okay, so let's see what's next. Uncouple on C3 Oscar. Charlie 3 Oscar. So we need to go all the way back. And then essentially just straight in. All right, we can do that. Yep, the little engine has to work a lot harder now. A lot harder. Oh. 
which also means that there's a lot more mass now that's going to keep us going, which means in turn that I can turn the engine off earlier. Or put it to idle because the mass will just keep us going for a lot longer. another look here at the station map. Yeah, so essentially to get back to the Charlie, we're just gonna go straight. Straight. And then... Okay, cool. Oh, Charlie. Okay, never mind. It was actually good there. But I have to turn this whole consist around. Unless we run by and... You know what we could do? to be honest with you. But I guess in the end it matters not because we're gonna use a different train. Uh, we're gonna use a different consist to go next anyway, so I'm just gonna push our way in with brute force.
No, this, this was a complete mistake. Oh, man. Oh, look, the lights are coming on. That time of the day. Look how quickly those traction motors overheat. This is truly the little engine that could. That one is correct, that one is correct. This is the one that needs to change. Yeah, I know that isn't the nicest way to do this, but it'll get the job done. There we go. Now all we have to do is... Keep in mind, you want a minimum of 50% of your consists locked. Oh, oops. Now I tripped the... Alright, so then... We can go and get this all... ...buttoned up here. Okay, this is all. You need to find a building with a big green. LED on top. Aha! There it is, my friend. Alright, so now we're gonna take our order, put it in here, and get our payment. Oh, and we were... We were only 89 minutes... Oh, we, we were only 8 minutes short, I should say. 
Thank you. Now, of course, the fees. Thankfully, we have insurance. Now we're going to have a quick look at the new licenses. And our money, which is 15,000. Our weather forecast. That's going to be foggy. We're going to quick travel to the farm, actually, because I wanted to show you the animals. So here's the farm. Oh, look. Beautiful steamers. There's also a few more cards that have been added. One of them being... Um, the milk car. Any other one is uh, look. There's there's actually an LT28 Volkswagen. Yeah, that's a LT. My dad drove one of those. But yeah, you have the stock. Oh, hi, chicken. Buck, buck. Buck, buck, buck. Chickens are so funny in real life. There's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Meow. Oh. Cute. Um, but yeah, there's the milk car and there's also... That's not too bad. What do we have here? Shunting. Two pickups. Prepare. Train with vegetables, local fruit, and pigs. For departure. Cool. Logistics hall. Can't do that yet. I don't have the logistics hall license. That's pretty expensive too. Logistics hall license. 20,000. So. Well, friends, I think that's it for now. It's, I mean, it's been 45 minutes, so we get this all done. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Northern Alex signing off. Thanks for watching. God bless.